everyone, it's Chloe from Chloe's Creative Cards and Stamps by Chloe. Um, I thought I'd do a quick video tutorial because I'm always getting asked how I tie my bows for my project. So this one here is a triple bow and I've used some wired ribbon for this. So I've got a few different types of ribbon so I can show you a few different types of bows. So we'll get started. So what I tend to do is I tie all of my ribbons on my fingers. So to do this, what I do is I start with my ribbon and this is a this is like a wired ribbon that I'm using for the first bow here. So that means it really holds its shape quite nicely. I like tying bows with wired ribbon to be honest. I think it works really well. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by hanging the ribbon over your index finger like so. Okay, so it's kind of wrapped around there. What we're then going to do is take the ribbon and wrap it around our third finger. So it's like a full loop. Okay, and then we're bringing it back to the back. We're then going to wrap it back around the first finger, back around the third, back around the first and back around the third. And I'm missing my middle finger out each time there. I'm then going to take the longer length of ribbon, cross it over the back. So it's crossing all of these layers here. We're going to take the shorter length and wrap it all the way around like so. So there we go. If I just move my finger out of the way there you might be able to see it's a little bit awkward doing this here. So can you see how we've got the ribbon covering those pieces there? So what we'll then do is tie a knot at the back like so and that would then be a completed triple bow. So your bows are very much determined by how many loops you have on each finger. So if you just have two loops on each finger, that'll be a double bow. If you have three, it'll be a triple bow. And what I like to do with some of the um, narrower ribbons as well is, I quite like to put, do quite a few loops, so you end up with quite a large bow, and then you can pop some of your flowers in the middle and, and things like that. And what I do like to do to complete my bows, and I do this with pretty much all of my projects, is we have some fabulous bling stones on our website, chloescreativecards.co.uk. And what I do is I just pop a little bling stone into the middle, and then you can see how that just hides the knot of the bow there. So that's the first type of bow, that's using some wired ribbon. I thought I'd show you some using an organza ribbon as well because this is a slightly more, I find this one a little bit more tricky to tie. So again, it's exactly the same principle. You're always going to start by hanging the ribbon around your index finger. And how long you want the ends to be is very much determined by how much, how long you leave this length. So if you want it quite short, you can shorten this length. If you want it quite long, you can keep this a little bit longer. So what I then do is wrap it around my third finger, wrap it around my first finger, my third finger and then we'll go once more for a double bow, a uh, triple bow sorry. So we've got three loops on either finger there, we're then going to turn it round, take this shorter length of ribbon, wrap it all the way around and then just tie a knot at the back. There we go and you can then see how beautiful that's then going to look on your project. So a really quick and easy way to tie a bow again. Um, I've then got a slightly more sheer ribbon as well. So this is, we've got some really beautiful ribbons on the website actually at the moment and this is a gorgeous one. So what we can do is take this, I'm just going to do a double bow with this one. This one's probably a little bit harder for you to see on my fingers because it is really see-through. So I've got one loop on here, one loop on my third finger. Do one more each side, take it round. Grab the shorter length, wrap it all the way around and then we're just going to tie a knot at the back and that would then create your lovely little bow ready to go on your card. So then of course you can just trim the ends off to however you would like to create these for your cards. So that's super super easy to do and hopefully that's given you some ideas for your projects. Thank you, bye!